Welcome back to Jelly's Minecraft World, the series that's fueled by your likes. The only reason I'm here, every time you guys hit 100,000 likes. On these videos, I will make another one. For any of you that are new, Jelly made a Minecraft world. I hacked into it. Lots of stuff's happened in between, but we don't care about that right now. What we care about is our awesome base. Check this out. Now, we should have a house here, and that's what we're going to be doing today. But first of all, there's, uh, there's some things going on outside. Now, remember, we do have a trap here that shoots actually oh wow oh so that shot a lot of arrows so that way i just know that the other two have been trying to get into my place uh we're, we're gonna take the long way out the back door that they obviously didn't figure out um what is this why is there a big yellow board i don't like the look of that and wait are those, are those yellow sh sheep wait craner city aka the best city on the block hello jelly and josh I had nowhere to put my poor sheep after the troll on Jelly. I, I can't even keep up which troll that was. Where I turned his house yellow. No problem, by the way, Jelly. Wait, where is Jelly's house? We'll get to that. H hang on. As the sheep farm was growing, they were running out of space. Rapidly. Since I am a good guy, I decided they deserved a bigger home. Welcome to Craner City. Enter fee one diamond. Wait, please feed the sheep. Why would I want to go in here and pay a diamond? All I want to do is burn these things. Hey, hey, why is this sheep dodging my fire? Okay, this is not called for. No way, buddy. You aren't leaving here alive. There you go, dumb sheep. There you go. See ya. I'll eat you in a bit. Actually, I'll eat you right now. So basically, he's turned this entire place into a crane city and filled it with yellow sheep. Um, and he's renamed it as well. And then he made an entrance that goes into his house. Wait a second. When I mean house, where's his house? What are these signs? Hey, Craner, congrats on your move to Craner City. I decided to help out and clean up your property for you. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused right now. I mean, his chests are still here. Why, why has he got green beds? Okay, I guess I'll just jump out. I don't really want this fence. Wait, the best flag on the block. Wait a second. Wait a second. His flag is breaching into my property. That's illegal. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to sort of disable this oh whoa, okay just for a moment while we're working here we cannot allow this to go on there is no way let me just go up here and there we go sorry it breached the boundaries so it has to be removed i'll leave a sign so that he knows to the point your sign breached it <sighs> your sign breached into slogo land so it died yeah that's just that's it really Wait, why did it just split in half? Well, back up we go, I guess. That's more like it. There we go. All right, let's have a look at what's going on over here. Under construction, wear a helmet for your safety. What? I don't see any construction. Eh? Is this Jelly's house? So Jelly just removed his house. Okay. Things are getting a little bit weird here on Turtle... Sorry, Craner City, a.k.a. Turtle Town. Anyway, I think it's time that we begin with building uh, my house. I've been doing quite a lot of work getting all the blocks that I need. And it's going to be a little bit different in design. It's not going to be medieval at all. Um, because I think what I'm going to do is probably remove the walls once I've finished with the house anyway. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to jump straight into it. Now, you might notice I've got quite a lot of weird blocks down here. Um, which is what I spent most of my time doing. What we're actually going to be doing, though, is making a couple different types of blocks. First of all, I'll make this one. I'm trying to remember how to make it. So I think it's like like that. So I think this is concrete. Yes. No, that's like concrete powder, which we then have to turn into actual concrete. You'll see in a moment. So let's get as much of this stuff as we can. Now, we can always make more. That's absolutely fine. But we've just got to do... Oh. There we go. Perfect. So that's this stuff. And then I also need to make some clay is what I'm going to do. All right. And boom. Okay. So those are the two types of things. Actually, no, no. Sorry. We need to make this concrete powder into actual concrete now. Hold on a second. Isn't this the stuff that needs water? Okay. Then we get that. And then... Oh, no. I have picked the worst thing. Wait. So if I put it out and then place water on it, I can mine it, I think. I forgot that this is how we have to do this. Why do I have to get the most complicated materials for my house? 
Okay, so let's at the very least start with uh, spacing out exactly where the house is going to go. It's going to be fairly modern of a design. Okay, so that kind of works. This is going to be the core uh, section here. I guess you could say that. I don't really know if I need to build all of these walls yet. I guess I'll just do it anyway. So I guess that kind of starts that. And then basically we're going to have like a bit swooping over the top. I'm, I'm not making any sense to you guys, am I? No, I, I don't think so. Okay. Um, so we've got room for some windows there. I guess we'll do another layer of windows. I'm saying it like you guys have any idea what I'm building, but y you don't. I've just been really ex inspired to make a very modern looking house. It it's, yeah, with the walls, like I said, it doesn't really make sense. All right, well, from here, we're going to sort of go over. I don't really know if this is actually how deep it's going to be. I guess we'll just add these walls here for now. I don't know if we're going to keep them like this. Okay, I think the core section is done. Now I gotta build the bit that's gonna swoop over. So that's gonna be kinda like a wall like this. So let's build that up. Okay, I've actually decided I wanted to make it one further out. So yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, and then pretty much it's just gonna go in at this angle. There we go. <laughs> And then we're going to put glass along the side of it there. Speaking of, we should probably get some cooking. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to bring that out along here. And then we're basically going to go up. So this entire bit is going to be sort of a white floor. Oh, I keep messing up. Okay, that's that bit completed. Uh, we've got some dirt we need to get rid of. All right, let's see how it's coming together. Is it okay? So, sort of. It's a work in progress. Okay, so now I want to add some of the wooden structure around it. I was hoping to do that. Oh, that's going to be... I was hoping to do it like this, but that's going to be, like, tiny. Um, hmm. Unless we use this as, like, uh, something else. Like a staircase downstairs. That would be kind of cool. How does that look? Okay. All right, I don't completely hate it, which is good. How's our glass going? It's, uh, really slowly. Okay. So I think the glass that we have inside the white bits, I want it to be dark tinted. So we're going to have to kill some squids for that. Um, but the ones that we have actually in the front, that can be just normal, I think. Um, how does that look? Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's put that in. And now we need to go and find ourselves some squids for donating their lovely ink. Oh, hello there. Ugh. Take that. Ugh. Thank you. Oh, we got a lot to do. Actually, I guess we won't need that many because we get quite a lot. Come on, give me your donations. Thank you. All right, should be nearly enough. Okay, so I think I have to do, oh, I'm such a dummy. I have to turn this into ink. Uh, Black dye first. There we go. Okay, I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. I'm going to just get probably actually quite a lot. All right, well, 32 is a start. So we'll place our panels along here first. That looks super cool. I like that. Cool. All right, there we go. That's that. Obviously, haven't really done any of our interior yet, but we're getting there. We are going to need some more of that, though. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to have this as completely glass. I might have some sort of... Oh, I knew I'd misplaced one. I'm going to have some sort of accent here somewhere, maybe in the middle. But for now, because I've got more than I need, we're just going to do it all glass. Okay, so I think this is pretty much what the bedroom area is going to look like. Now, I guess this is going to be wooden. Wooden. Would it would be like this? I'm not even totally sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to turn this into slabs or not. Yeah, and then for now, we're just going to do a really lame staircase because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. And then we'll make the entire floor in here wood as well. All right, it's coming along pretty well, if I do say so myself. Uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, I didn't even, I haven't even opened it up into this area. I'm not really sure. Where are we going to have the entrance to that? Because we also need to, oh, I think we're going to wall, uh, no, we'll, we'll glass this back bit off. Nice. Okay, there we go. And then just remove the floor. And then this little extra little area is going to be done as well. Nice, cool. That looks really good. Should we open that? Oh, no, we can't really open that up anymore. We could open that up, though. 
That's kind of nice. Okay, so for this room, I think we're going to keep this floor just like this uh, and keep it fully open up to the top. Same for in here as well. So I guess let's open that up three high like that. This will be our bedroom, I think. I like that. And I need to figure out the roof. I guess we'll just put some spruce doors down at the moment. Not exactly perfect, but that's what we're just going to go for. Uh, and then let's clean this up. Oh, yeah, we haven't opened up the the area into potentially our underground entrance. That's this bit here. Let's close you off. Uh, and I guess I'll just I'll just floor it with wood for now until we know exactly what we're gonna do with it. And we need to put some torches down so that mobs don't spawn. Cool, there we go. All right, it's quirky. We, we gotta figure out the staircase. I know, I know, and the roof. But I think I'm gonna do those last finishing touches and move everything in off video. So you guys don't need to see all of that. But there we go, that is my new house sort of kind of complete it's small but i like it it's something different and i think the other two are gonna like it as well but anyway last thing we need to do is figure out some of these uh signs i suppose wait oh hang on a second did i accidentally burn this house down i did not realize i did that this isn't the house that i stored my diamonds in is it no 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 no, no. this is the old house okay yeah, if some of you guys might remember i have some secret diamonds stored inside the blacksmith which, um, we, are we going to move? Should we move? Maybe that would be a good time to move it now uh, as well. Okay, let's move our secret diamonds um, back to our house. Now that we actually have one and find a little secret spot to hide it. I like the way I just haven't fixed these fences. I just don't even care. You know what? We'll just burn this. No one needs this sign. It's a dumb sign anyway. Okay, where do we put it? Where do we put it? I guess um, what I'll do is I'll build like a little floor opening mechanism like right here that opens up and then gives me access to the chest. So we will need to make a chest. And I can show you that in the next episode. I think that'd be pretty cool. So we'll just put like a temporary chest there for now just to store our diamonds in. Perfect. And then block it off and hope no one comes digging in our house. Well, there we go. That was my Minecraft episode on Jelly's Minecraft World. We've got a new house, finally. It's been about time. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm going to do a little bit more work off camera, and I'll see you in the next episode. 100k likes for another one, and if you want to watch another video of this, I'm on the screen. Tap those videos, and I'll take you to the next one. Enjoy.